So I want to actually play this call from one of our new team members. This is the opportunity that we've been very diligent on training our phone call tiered system. This team member really kind of follows the step-by-step -step process, staying in phase one until he goes to tier two and even goes into tier three when a customer starts asking questions. But this is a perfect example, as you can see, the structure of the call of the tiered system really helps the team member take control of the call to ultimately drive that traffic into the store. So I'm gonna go ahead and play sections of this call and we will break it down to the tiered system and we will see how he did. Let's get started. It's a great day. Thank you, my name's Adnan. How can I help you? I'm sorry, what was your name? Adnan. Adnan, I have a Samsung A72 model that I believe that the screen is gone. I dropped it and it's like black. Mm -hmm. Do you repair that? Yeah, absolutely. Bring it in. We'll diagnose it. And we'll see what's wrong and we'll give you a free quote. Awesome, guys. There's tier one for you, okay? Right? Positive, great, consistent greeting. It's a great day at Techie. This is admin. What information can I provide for you today? Right? Customer goes right into saying that she broke her cell phone. It was a A model series and really kind of goes into the next step and builds confidence. She asks, is that something that you guys are able to repair? absolutely come on in we can give you a free quote right we always talk about selling with the word free there's a lot of power in that right so not only did he build the confidence hey you called the right place we absolutely can get that fixed for you and also building that opportunity and confidence in you you called the right place no need to go anywhere else and it continues to to ask questions but he continues to follow the tiered system and control the call so let's listen in Okay, and and um, would it be, uh, is it usually something you have to order or uh, you can pick that store? What was the model you said? A seventy two. A seventy two. Uh, yeah, it's like depending on what it is. Like if it's the screen, then we would have to order it. But we we have a same day supplier, so we'll have it done by today. Okay, so let's talk about this section for a little bit. Now, he kind of goes down a rabbit hole again, asking for the type of uh, phone and type of device that it is to kind of really check the inventory, right? Because really what this customer is asking us is, hey, do you have this item in stock, right? I know the customer is telling us that she believes it's a broken screen. She dropped it. There's a black screen. She really doesn't know what's going on. But until we get that device inside our facility and do some troubleshooting, we're really not going to know exactly the extent of the damage, right? So he kind of re-salvages the situation and explains to her, hey, we have same day suppliers, right? We can get these parts the same day. He also could have went in and said something of the nature of, hey, we have over 250 locations. We have many opportunities to reach out to the network and see if we can get that part delivered to us today. The earlier you can get here, the better I can diagnose and the quicker I can get this resolved for you. When would you like to come in? Okay, so again, he goes down a little bit of a rabbit hole trying to ask what the device is, but I think he does a great job salvaging the situation by explaining to the customer, hey, look, we have same name suppliers. Chances are we can get that in here and we can get that done for you today. But let's listen to the, to the remaining part of this call. Okay, thank you. So I'll come in then. Are you looking at your location today? Uh, we're in Fort Lauderdale, right by the airport. I need an address. Okay, yeah. It's 3000 Southwest mm -hmm. 4th Avenue, Fort Lauderdale. Okay, so we could have went into a little bit more of controlling this call. He could have asked, do you know where we're located? Okay, the customer did ask, where are you? He did give landmarks, right, just north of the Fort Lauderdale Airport, which is fantastic, right? This customer specifically asked for an address. Now, I would have taken the opportunity to ask this customer, hey, do you mind if I text you our address on this number, right? That would have shown a lot of great value, a lot of customer service. They could have quickly just clicked the link and it would have taken them right here on Google Maps or Apple Maps, wherever the case may have been. But it would have been a nice value add to just ask the customer, hey, do you mind if I just go ahead and text you the address? I'm not sure if you're driving at the moment or if you have a pen and paper, but if it's okay with you, I'd be happy to send it to you uh, to this number. I would have confirmed the number with her and then I would have asked her when she was coming in. But let's see how this call really finishes. Cool. Okay, Florida. thank you. All right. Are you, are you in the area? I'm in the area, yes. 
Hey, what was your name? What's my name? I'm Shanique. All right, my name's Adnan. When you get here, just ask for me. I'll take great care of you. We close at 6. Okay, thanks so much. All right, no problem. What time do you close? At 6? We close at, we close at 6, yes. Thank you. All right, no problem. Have a nice day. Okay, so fantastic job closing out this call, building the relationship with the customer, telling her to ask for him when he gets there, and he's going to take great care of her, even when a step above and beyond, right? This phone call came into us right around 110, right? Right around 130, okay? Now, he did educate the customer, hey, we do close at 6. She did mention that she was going to be on her way rather quickly, but nevertheless, she did follow up just to confirm, hey, you will be open till 6 just in case something came up to truly try to drive that. But he did ask, are you in the area, right? That was him try to, trying to get a sense of urgency and trying to drive that customer in to see it exactly when they might come in to, to to educate and give it a little bit further the one thing he might have said is would you like me to book you an appointment today when do you think that you could have come in is it three o'clock is it four o'clock i want to make sure my team and i'm ready for you so we can give you the best service get you in and out of here get you that free quote as possible as we can if we do need to order for that part give us some time to order that part and bring it back in so we can get that device back in your hands today guys we know this is a cell phone repair customers timing is critical right we cannot be without our phones for extended periods of times so we have families we have professional lives we need these devices so timing is critical and he could have sped up the urgency a little bit by maybe asking hey can i can i schedule an appointment for you and when can i expect you a little bit further but hey at the end of the day this is a great call this is a new team member that's put in the time has put in the work to understand our tiered system he did not veer off of it and it was a great opportunity i know if he continues to con to role play and continues to develop his strategy and continues to answer the phones and practice with team members this is going to absolutely pay off for him and he's going to continue to drive sales and continue to grow our business by following our phone call tiered system Thanks, guys. For any other questions, comments, or concerns, you can always visit us at techuniversity.com.